We can confirm question of the week. I'm Garnet Lee, and you've gotten your questions into us on Twitter and Facebook. This one is from at Neo Neo Nick NGC. Neo Nick NGC, I bet you that's it. Basically asking about Evo. He says, What are your thoughts about Evo and did you watch it? Well, after last week, you know I had to watch it. So look, if you come into this stream right now or come into this uh, video rather because you saw Evo or search for Evo, I'm gonna talk about some stuff that you guys who know about Evo probably already know. But hang in there because there are a lot of people who don't got to it yet. They're not clicking on Evo, but they should be clicking on Evo because this year's, man, the hype was off the scale. And here was like the best example. So if you have not watched any Evo, the match I'm going to tell you to go get, and you might be surprised about this, is King of Fighters 13. And I was surprised because I'm not a big King of Fighters fan. I figured I would watch, you know, uh, Marvel Capcom. and uh, Definitely Marvel Capcom because I'm all about that. Maybe some Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Definitely some Street Fighter. I'm like, ah, you know, maybe I'll check out King of Fighters, whatever. And a couple of people hit me on Sunday and were like, man, you need to get on the King of Fighters stream right now. And it was amazing. It was exactly what, it, it, what Evo is all about. It had the excitement. It had the skills it had the strategy and the back and forth as you're watching the match you can absolutely see the back and forth the strategies that each of the players is is applying and learning from each other's tactics and just a phenomenal phenomenal set of match right there because uh first of all you had bala who was fav favored to win you know coming in a heavy favorite was going to be like the big big you know a, you know he was the one to beat and then you've got mad kof who came out of the losers bracket and just opens up some whoop ass on Bala right off the bat, just like laying it to him. Bala makes this huge comeback, and then yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not even gonna spoil it for you. I'm just gonna tell you this: if you watch that King of Fighters 13 2012 Evo match, the final, and don't come away excited about video games as a spectator sport, then it's just not for you, because. It was what it's all about. Now, I think we have still some room to improve as far as presentation, as far as, you know, how we sort of have that ESPN level of polish in making it a spectator sport. That having been said, commentary was pretty good in a lot of these matches. I'm not going to hold the King of Fighters match out there as the best. There were certainly some matches that had a little more insight into the tactics of what was happening. Uh, but also, man, that room was just so loud. There was so much yelling and... and there's so much excitement in it. So that was my feeling about Evo. My feeling about Evo was this year was freaking amazing and was super fun to watch and really signals everything that's right about what's going on in professional gaming right now. Everything that's exciting about it. And you should go watch that King of Fighters 13 match. And if you like that, then yeah, what else? Uh, Brian, did you watch any of them? I did. Which ones do you like? Marvel Capcom was really good. Street Fighter was predictable, but I mean, it's Street Fighter. Um, uh, the one I watched was um, Marvel vs. Capcom. Capcom yeah, one. and Marvel, Mar the Marvel Capcom, that was my, that's my number two recommendation. Very so Mar yeah. Marvel Capcom 3 is my number two recommendation. If you haven't watched that King of Fighters 13 match, though, happen, yeah. you should definitely watch that. So, you know, there you go. That's my thought about Evo is awesome, great for fighting games, great for a spectating sport of video games, and just, you know, like a lot of fun, and a great way to see a lot of people having a lot of fun and getting the energy and enthusiasm of playing games. So, uh, yeah, and I got all enthusiasm here. I get all excited about it. It was really cool. Yeah, it was, good. it was a good time. So, check that out. Thanks for your questions. Uh, and do watch the uh, daily show that we have up on the Shack News Game YouTube channel as well. Thanks very much. We'll talk to you next week. As a control, it's because that's what it really is. It's nice in concept, but it also shows how much they let you kind of hide under this umbrella of whimsy that everyone's going to be worn over like they were the first time with the Wii, when everyone really has kind of wide shot this good concept doesn't translate necessarily into practical application in video games. And I think it really continues this year.